outrage as sickening video of a child being brutally beaten goes viral. A mother watches as her 11-year-old son's godmother whips her boy with a belt up to 60 times. How did this video surface? The abusers themselves posted it on the little boy's Facebook page as punishment for him lying about being a gangster on that very page. In a six-minute video posted to Facebook, an 11-year-old boy smacked in the face and hit with a belt more than 50 times. I watched the video and I was disturbed by it. Officers went to that location with Child Protective Services and, and made the two arrests. The 11-year-old boy and an infant now in protective custody. The video shared more than 1,000 times before being deleted from the boy's Facebook page. The law says that you can administer reasonable physical force upon a child for disciplinary purposes. I think this was unreasonable. You think? Good evening, I'm Jane Velez Mitchell coming to you live tonight. And tonight, these three people are behind bars after the video they filmed and posted online went viral. 28-year-old Demetria Powell was apparently angry that her 11-year-old son lied on his Facebook page. So last Thursday, she and Matias Taylor, the boy's godmother, beat him while repeatedly scolding him for pretending to be a gangster. I'm talking about 60 now, lashes. They're beating this little boy to discourage him from pursuing a violent lifestyle. You know what? How does that make any sense? Watch this from Facebook and we no, warn you, no it's gangster. very disturbing. Look to the mother camera. Now, Facebook, you see that gangster crying? You see this triple OG all this gear right here? See that? See them tears? No. And that's not the hard part to watch. Mother Demetria brags on her own Facebook page that this boy's an honor student, but she also posts video of herself. Are you sitting down smoking from bongs and showing off guns? In the state of Michigan, parents are allowed to physically discipline their kids. Where does discipline end and criminal assault begin? I want to hear from you, and we're going to show you the video of her sucking on a bong in a second. Call me, 1-877-JVM-SAYS-1, 877-586-7297. We have got a fantastic and fiery Lion's Den debate panel lined up tonight. But first, to NBC 25 reporter Walter Smith on the ground in Flint, Michigan. What is the latest on this unfolding horror story? Jane, we know that this morning three people were arraigned on child abuse charges. That's including the mother, Demetra Powell, as you said, as well as the godmother, who police say is giving out the lashings more than 50, as well as the uh, godmother's boyfriend. He is the one that is taking the video, and in the video you can hear him say that he, he would have said his name, but he is a wanted, wanted felon. We don't know that to be true actually right now. Um, so they are arraigned, and they are behind bars in the Genesee County Jail right now here in Flint, Michigan. Well, yeah, he does have a criminal history, and we're going to tell you about that in a second. So much to go over here. Cops say this 11-year-old boy, this little boy, was beaten up to 60 times with a belt and smacked in the face. We can't even show you the worst of it. On the tape, he's accused of lying about his age and pretending to be in a gang. He's 11. 11-year-old 11 boys make stuff up. The hypocrisy of this boy's mother is right there on her own Facebook page. Look at this. Come on, man. You got to clear all that. <laughs> yeah, mom seems to be enjoying a little sucking off a bomb. So much so that she posted this video for all the world to see. But that's not the half of it. Uh, judging uh, by all the stuff. I mean, her Facebook page. She also seems obsessed with guns. Okay, she's captioned this photo of herself, dressed as a cop for Halloween. Get on my level four millimeter tonight. She also fixated on cash. There's a, a picture of a baby with cash all over the baby. What's that about? Well, you know what? When I hear drugs, money, and guns, what comes to mind? I think of gangs. So straight out to the lion's den. Oh my gosh, a Reba Martin attorney, rather than beating uh, this child for pretending to be a gangster, maybe mama should look in the mirror and figure out where this little boy got the idea from. 
this is just so horrible, Jane, to see this mother treat this kid like this is, is just beyond belief. But I think for me, the more important issue is we keep seeing these postings of Facebook pages of kids who are being disciplined or somehow, you know, abused by their parents. We saw the little Nebraska boy a couple of months ago who his parents were encouraging him to use profanity and they posted that on Facebook. Thank God that the Child Protective Services stepped in. I want to see something done with these parents. We can't keep separating them from parents, putting them in jail, putting them in foster care. What are we going to do to provide some resources, some safety nets, so that parents like this learn what it means to be a responsible parent, and so that kids like this little boy have a chance at a, a Listen, a I say throw life, him in jail. You know career. what I say? Yes, he needs to go to jail. Laura Nattis, James, former prosecutor, where, who's going to take sorry. care of these kids? Not who's them. Who's going to take care of these not kids? Not them. Not now, them. I agree. There are not I enough foster homes in the world, Jane, I'm to sorry. separate kids from their parents. I'm We've got to give no, more no, support no. for I the parents. I disagree. Alora Nettos, former I, prosecutor, I, star of Staten Island Law. Uh, Jane, okay. I get, yeah, I get it that there is a problem that we don't have enough good foster homes, but parents like this need to not have children in their custody. And maybe they can someday regain custody of their kids after appropriate counseling, parenting classes, and interventions like, you know, that would help them. But really, at this point, we have to put the children first. We have to get the kids out of the care of these parents, put them someplace safe, and make sure that this kind of stuff doesn't happen again. Nora Marino, attorney. I agree with Ariva that a lot of this starts with educating the parents and some type of a therapeutic intervention I'm sorry, my dear. may be Nora, much more effective you, than taking this, these kids we, away and putting them in foster homes. Past we don't the know point that of want, education in this case. We and I want to go out to Jay homes. Wendell Gordon. Thank, I thank you for coming out to me. Although the video is bad, it is a snapshot of a day in the life of, these, of, the, of the parents of this young man. I don't look at this video and, and count the mother out as being a bad parent. Her, her intentions were good. Yeah, her intentions were good. It's, it's very important. For, for I don't them. know that her intentions are good. Well, I'll tell you her intentions are good because she's How trying do you know to discipline her the child. Are good? Because she's trying to discipline the child. Did she go overboard? Yes, she That's did. That's ridiculous. Should, should this be corrected in the future? It yes, it should. No. But is she a bad parent simply because she did this? I don't think she she's a bad stood parent. I think she's a bad parent. We can't say people bad are bad acts. parents because they're beating their kids up and posting acts, videos. So what can we say are bad parents? Bad. Did you see the kid? He's an honor roll student. Did you see how he's dressed? He's clean. Uh, there's nothing wrong with her parenting other than what we saw captured on this video. No, I, I love, don't see I love anything everybody wrong in this it. panel, but I'm holding my head so it doesn't explode right now. <laughs> Dr. Did the kid, Judy, did the kid have clinical psychologist. Did the kid have marks left on him? Anybody who watches. I agree, a child I agree. beaten 60 times. Okay, this is America. Children get beat in America for disciplinary purposes. I'm, 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 and, and, I'm, and you know what? The you know state what? sanctions it. The uh, state does not sanction it. The state does not sanction it. No, it does not. The state does not sanction it. Let's talk about that in a second. Physical corporal punishment is sanctionable in the state. I but corporal go to Dr. punishment Judy, is not beat. I want to go to Dr. Cor Judy Ho. Jane, uh, this is an unbelievable case. And I'm sorry, I'm hearing a lot of feedback right now. Look, uh, here's the thing. Nora Marino, attorney, I'm sorry. I could see a spanking, maybe a couple of spanks, but He's when a crying. child... Well, you can't problem. see him because we've had to blur his face. The, he the was problem. hit with a belt 60 <laughs> times, The problem, though, Nora. with taking, I agree, but the problem with having a knee-jerk reaction and removing children. I do family law, and I see a lot of these foster homes aren't any better than the original home. And then maybe the better approach would be to educate these parents and step in with therapeutic approaches instead of just throwing these kids in with strangers who maybe have two, three, four, ten foster kids you know, and aren't going to get any care. Let me I tell agree. you Jane, something. Jane, this we is a real thing. Let, let me just Jane. say something. Let me say something. Let me say something here. No, no, wait, wait. I got to say something first. <laughs> we spared you the worst of this video because it's too upsetting to watch. And maybe we made a mistake in doing that because it's so upsetting that people were crying, people were nauseous after watching this video. So we decided in our wisdom that we weren't going to show the worst of it because it was too upsetting. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We're recutting it right now so we can show you the worst of it because you're all crazy. And the reason why you're all crazy is that, and I'll, tell, I'll throw this at you, or Laura Nanos, former prosecutor, that these three adults tonight are charged with conspiracy to commit child abuse, a felony, 
child abuse, third degree, a felony, and child abuse, third degree criminal committed in the presence of another child, a felony. They can all go to jail for up to six years. That's what the prosecutors felt about this video. Alora Nanos, former prosecutor. Yeah. Jane, I agree. I mean, I understand the point that there is more to do here than to just remove children from every family whenever there is any kind of issue of any neglect. But this is a situation that goes far beyond just ordinary corporal punishment. This is excessive. This rises to the level of a criminal offense. This is a case where the children need to be removed. Maybe they don't need to be removed in every case, but this is absolutely a case where the children need to be removed. I don't know if you Jane, all can watched I, can the I video, say something but I now, want to Jane? go back to Walter Smith, reporter, NBC 25. You watched it. Do you know what I'm talking about in terms of, you know, we can't show it. We can't show it because it's too disturbing. And yet you, I'm sure, watched it. What was your rea visceral reaction as a reporter and as a human being, Walter Smith? Yeah, our entire newsroom watched this video on Friday night, and we were all uh, appalled by it. Um, we did blur out the, the face of the child, as so did your show. Um, it, it really is six minutes, and there's more than 50, 50 lashings if you count it. But a lot of people, when they're watching this video, video they really have to look away from it because, you know, it is, it is pretty horrible But that this is happening to a child. Let's go out to the phone line. Shanae, South Carolina, what do you have to say? Because I'm trying to get our panel back to planet Earth. Shanae, South Carolina. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you today? Good. I do not think this is child abuse at all. This is not child abuse. This child is fully clothed. He is 11 years old, pretending to be a gangster. He will get a beating worse than that in the streets versus in his own household. He is fully clothed with no marks on him. He's fully clothed. So how is this child abuse? What, what, where is the line? Ma'am, how do you know there's no abuse? marks on him? How do you know there's no marks well, on well, him? I would, I would expect to see marks on him for the constitutional child clothed. abuse. The so what? You can beat somebody to a pump who's fully clothed. No. In what order to in order to constitute child insanity. abuse, there has to be some type of bruising, some type of marks. I think they took precautions no, into making sure. No, that's not true. No, it, I think, that's well, not true. I'm talking about Let's, physical no, child true. abuse. Let's, I'm talking about physical child abuse. This now. is physical no, child abuse. No, right. no, no. So, so in, okay, in the Dr. state of Maryland, no, where you don't I need practice mark, law, you don't need physical you have to marks have, for physical child abuse. Well, no, you don't. One at a time. One at a time. Dr. Judy Ho, clinical psychologist. Your your response to that. Thank, thank you, Jane. You know what? There's so much in misinformation out there about what constitutes physical child abuse. The clothing, the fact that it doesn't leave a mark or leaves a mark, that is not part of the issue, okay? And as we, as we already know, this is not the worst of the video, okay? So with a parent like this, yes, I understand the education piece that the other panelists are talking about, but here is the problem. The actual rules for corporal punishment is very stringent, okay? These, these videos that you're showing are already outside the lines of that. These parents definitely need to be prosecuted, and they do need to be removed because these parents are not going to be educable in the short term of things. They will need to be removed from the home for at least a few years while these parents get their heads straight. Yeah, and, and one of them is on camera bragging about his own record on the other side of the break. We're going to tell you about the criminal record of one of these individuals. Stay right there. So, run. Oh, so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> At least three adults watched the lashings, saying on the video the boy is being punished for having false information on his Facebook page. Look to the mother camera. Now, Facebook, you see that gangster crying? You see this triple OG on this gear right here? See that? See them tears? Now grandma gonna get in there. Mama out of me. That woman and the two others, uh, the older woman who actually allegedly beat the child up to 60 times with a belt. Tonight, these three are charged with three felony counts of third degree child abuse and conspiracy to commit child abuse, child abuse, child abuse committed in the presence of another child because there was an infant watching the whole thing. Now, these adults are supposedly trying to teach this boy not to be a criminal, but listen to the man, Stefan Felton, bragging about his own record. Facebook, I will put my face on there, but I'm a wanted criminal, so don't look for this number. Thank you. I've been locked up 10 years.
All right, so uh, apparently he does have a record. We checked. Uh, let's go through all the criminal charges. This guy has DUI, larceny, and child support issues. And uh, the godmother, possession of marijuana, driving with a revoked suspended license. Those are not big charges. The big charges are the ones they got after this video aired. And it went viral. Um, I want to go back to the essential question of when does discipline cross the line into child abuse. And uh, I have to start again with Alora Nanos. Apparently, what, what the law says is if it's reasonable, like a spanking on the bottom, but no markings. So and you, you see, the, the law specifically does not lay out um, specific guidelines for what is okay for corporal punishment and what is not for the very purpose that anything that could endanger the child's life or health is going to be not okay. It's always going to be held to be within the standards of reasonable corporal punishment. And you know what? It's the kind of thing that we know it when we see it. This is obviously unreasonable. This is far beyond unreasonable and all the way into criminal territory. I agree, but it's amazing that our panel, including my friend Jane. Nora Marino, I am, I am shocked, Nora, at, at your... At your assertion that, that this is somehow reasonable discipline? I never said it was reasonable discipline. I'm just saying I think there's a problem with the system where it's a knee-jerk reaction to just remove the children. Now, yes, maybe the, ch the children need to be removed because, you know, these agencies are in a tough spot. If they don't remove them and, God forbid, a child winds up dead, that's going to be a big problem, obviously. So the first knee-jerk reaction is to remove the children. But I think the bigger picture and the bigger question is that this is going on all the time in, in thousands, if not millions of homes that we don't even know about. Okay, now. These parents need to be educated. This is a different world. We have now, Facebook. We have gangs. Parents need help. Now we're re-racking the video. Jane, we're going to show Jane. you. Wait a second. I want to show you. We, we showed you the soft part. Now we're going to re-rack the video and show you four of the 60 alleged um, hits with the belt. So watch carefully as, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. You could, Ed, you can also see uh, some slugging going on. So you're here, you're seeing boom, boom, boom. Now, 60, according to what the authorities said, and I'll quote from the um, press release of the prosecutor's office, throughout the beating, the adults admonished the child not to get involved with gang activity. Near the end of the video, the child was in obvious pain and he was squirming while being struck and still forced to hold on to the arms of the chair. Throughout the incident, others were in the room, including an infant in clear view of the victim being beaten. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, I am in shock. I'm in shock over this video. I'm also in shock that so many people are defending it. Um, let's go out to the phone line. Stephanie, Indiana, uh, what do you have to say? Stephanie, Indiana. I have a lot to say. To be honest with you, what they're doing to that child is way beyond child abuse. That child needs to be taken out of that home, and the parents or the adults sitting in the back background didn't stop her from doing what she was doing to that 11-year-old boy is wrong. I don't agree with half your panel. I'm sorry. 60 times is way beyond spanking the kid with a belt. If, if, if it was Facebook problem and the kid said something on Facebook that was not right, the mother should have talked to the child, deleted his Facebook, and said you're no longer allowed to be on Facebook and dealt with it as a parent, not as being abusive to his, her own child. That is wrong. Jay Wendell Gordon. Yeah, uh, again. It, you're not again. supposed to have a Facebook page till you're 13, according to Facebook rules. So, you know, I'm not a parent. Of, children, of human children, I have some pets, my companion animals, but if I were a parent, I would think, what I'd do is pull the page and say, oh, yeah. no, you can't have a Facebook page, you're too mm -hmm. young. Instead, right. they post this beating video on the boy's Facebook page. Th that makes sense to you, Jay Wendell? No, it doesn't make sense. I mean, you can't really defend their conduct 100%. I mean, but parents, there's no manual to being a parent. You just do the best you can, and sometimes parents do go overboard. I'm not necessarily making an excuse for them, but I'm definitely giving an explanation as to how this occurred. Now, with regard to this child, I'd rather see him getting disciplined by his parents than to see him shot by another gang member or shot by the police because they mistaked him for being in a mm -hmm. gang. So his what's his going on in his home? Yeah. Yeah. Not in gang. But his parents although, are although, teaching him to participate although, in a in Although I think we all violence. agree that the parents went overboard, I do not think that the yeah. child should be removed from the home. I think the parents, I agree with the other attorney, that the Jay. parents should get some parenting classes because, you know what, uh, by all other accounts, I, I, the boy is, he's an honor roll student. He's, he's well an honor dressed, student. Agreed. He's, he's well kept. What does that uh, mean? And he's be, 
That oh means he's being God. well parented. Doing something right. Hold on one second. Please. That means one at a time. Well one at a time. First, I want to go to Dr. Can Judy Ho. Yeah, go ahead, Reva. Sorry. I, I just want to say, I, I want to be very clear. I'm not condoning the acts of these parents. I think it is child abuse. I think it is criminal conduct. And I think this child should be removed from the home. But I think we need to have a bigger conversation about what do we do with all of these kids that are removed from homes? How do That's we get right. them reunified with their parents? And how do we create a safety net so that this little boy doesn't end up in a gang? And so that this boy doesn't end up out of the home of his parents and in a foster home that may even be more difficult for him? So what it's do you not think, just what do you about think what's happening with this kid, but what it's about thousands of kids in foster care without help. What, 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 time, without help. Help. what now, do you think the police would have done to that 11-year-old boy if they had suspected him of being in a gang? You think they just would have pulled out a belt and spanked him a few times? Or would they have done something else to him? And they, that's no, he the would be in juvenile justice. Oh, oh, is that what you think? Is that what you really think? Or would he be shot dead somewhere like we've seen so many other times on this show? Look, 11-year-olds make stuff up. I mean, you're saying that he, no. you know, he's accused of lying about his age, so he probably said he was 13 so we could get a Facebook page, and then he said, I'm a gang member. I mean, there's other ways to approach this other than right. hitting him 60 times in the But they didn't know belt. that. The parents, they they know not all parents, parents know that, Jay. Hold on a second. Not all parents N Nora. know that. Okay, Nora, you were saying? That the other the parents didn't know that there were other ways. I mean, and the reason I point out that he's an honor roll student, I mean, they're 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 doing something right. If this kid is an honor roll right. student, I mean, that's impressive. So they're doing or something right. Or the kid is right. just maybe, smart. Maybe maybe their intent, maybe it's just smart. But a good parenting usually has something to do with being an honor roll student. But well, I mean, maybe these parents truly did just want to deter this child from thinking that being in a gang was cool. And this is all they knew. Uh, our is calls it a good are idea? going no, crazy. Not a, not a good off idea. the hook. On the other side, we're going to hear from some people. My question. The question is, how is this beating going to psychologically damage him for the rest of his life? Let's forget the physical for a second, but psychologically. Scarred, stay right there. The video sparking outrage over the weekend. The law says that you can administer reasonable physical force upon a child for disciplinary purposes. I think this was unreasonable.